Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now we're going to do pro triangle proofs reasons only. So this is about our mid-level question that you're going to see on uh, triangle proofs. And uh, basically what I'm going to kind of look at is uh, kind of like what fraction of the reasons you're going to be getting right. So I would say that if you're getting about two thirds or three quarters of the reasons correct, that's about your three out of four. Half of them correct would be about two out of four. So what this kind of does is it assesses your ability to recognize vocabulary. Uh, one thing that I really do like about the way that Delta Math does proofs is that if you put your mouse over the statement, it actually highlights for you what is congruent to help you with the visualization. So we're given that BE and BD are congruent and AD and CE are congruent. And if I'm thinking about a reason, I may want to be thinking about uh, what did we do in step one? Uh, so we have sides that are congruent. So I could actually, uh, you have two choices. If you have time on your hands, you could actually go uh, into Word Bank and you can see that there are all sorts of reasons. And it does take a little bit of searching. Uh, I think right off the bat, you could eliminate that. You know, we have reflexive property. We, we don't have that because it's not the same thing that's being, you know, marked congruent. Uh, but what we do have are all sorts of reasons. Now, if you want a shortcut, I could type in something like congruent sides. And this says actually that in a triangle, angles opposite of congruent sides are congruent. And we got it. All right, so now we got to prove that A, D, B, and C, E, B are congruent. And if it helps, I could actually trace the triangle. So like A, D, B. And C, E, B. I'm just going to do it in like different color. All right, so what I have here, I know that BE and BD are congruent. And then I also know that AD and CE are congruent. And then I have an angle. So if I were to kind of like pinpoint the green triangle, I'm just going to focus on that. I know uh, that the bottom side has been dealt with. I know that angle D has been marked. And I know that this uh, side has been marked. And I would kind of look at what I did and I have an angle that's between two sides. So that's going to spell S A S. Now, if you kind of uh, open the word bank, you would actually see like the different possible reasons. And actually this is the only one that makes sense because I have two sides and then an angle. That's the only uh, triangle congruence theorem with two sides and an angle. All right, um, if you've already proven that a triangle is congruent, and this is something that's gonna be a little bit new, but you're gonna see this in a lot of proofs. So if you have proven a triangle congruent, any corresponding side or angle is congruent by, C, P, C, T, C. 
which is corresponding parts of triangles. are congruent. So let's actually look at that. I could even just type congruent triangles because that's what I did in the previous statement. So I proved that the two triangles were congruent. So I'm going to type congruent triangles. And sure enough, it says corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then uh, uh, last but not least, I have ABC as an isosceles triangle. And uh, the reason why uh, that is the case is that we have two congruent sides. That's what a isosceles triangle is. And then when we are done, uh, we submit. And let's see how we did. We did good. Uh, so it does give you your proof and it gives you of uh, correct proof as well. Let's do one more. This one I'll do Ron. So this one I'm gonna do Ron on purpose and I'm gonna kind of show you what happens if you get something incorrect and then what you should do to uh, get better. So I have B, D and A, C bisect each other. And I'm just going to say maybe I'm thinking like midpoint instead of bisector. Maybe I, it looks like it's the midpoint. Maybe I just do midpoint here. So one of the nice things is it does, you know, let me go on. And then I have these angles. Uh, I'll get this one right. So that's vertical angles are congruent. And uh, maybe I do SSA and we'll call this alternate exterior, or we'll say alternate interior. And we'll do, we'll, we'll go with that. So if you get a proof wrong, it will say, are you sure you wanna submit? And I'm just going to submit this officially. So what is really nice and why you should actually be paying attention to the solution is it actually tells you all of the steps that you got wrong. And what you can actually do is if you get a proof wrong, that does not mean that you are doomed to fail at proofs. In fact, what I would do is I would just copy this proof down on a piece of paper, put the correct proof, and then kind of look for patterns across the correct proofs. And you'll find that you'll get a lot better at these proofs.